Alright. Whoa. Here we go. You're on. Are you going to talk? Are you going to say something, Sister Handy-ish? Say something. I broke it, so I must fix it. She, she broke it. Look at that casing. Can you see that? I can't zoom in anymore. That's, yeah. It um, broke the ca the cast. And unfortunately, I had just sharpened my blade. <laughs> and so it only took like 10 seconds or something. You know, the revolutions. And it went right into the deck. Uh -huh. My decking. So. And oh, well. So believe it or not. Well, you all probably will believe it. Because when you buy parts online, it was about $39 to buy one. Or... Seventy dollars to buy three. So why replace just one when I can replace all three? And the old ones don't have grease dirks, and the new ones do, which is kind of nice. So hopefully they will last a little bit longer. And um, anyway. Cub Cadet, no grease dirks. What jerks? I know. I, I was kind of surprised, honestly, when I, you know, I've had to. I don't know, how many years have I had this one? My parent, my dad bought it. He actually gifted it to me when they moved away. And, uh, I don't know. So I think I've had it maybe for three years now. And, um, so every time I sharpen the blade, which is at least a couple times a year, you know, I usually put it in there. And, I could be helping, but I'm just enjoying watching her struggle. Um, <laughs> So, you got it. I got, of course I you got, got it. it. I've done this before. Yeah. It's easier to sharpen the blades when they're off. Yeah. So. Yeah, you can throw, throw it in a bench. So I, I already took one off. Bang the jig. Vice. And that's the word I was looking for. The four little bolts that go on here on this side. I can't lift that. It's too heavy. I'm going to restrain my back. Oh, so now you want my help. Why do I? What, so they, they can see or you could just take the camera and do it? That'd be easier. Oh, oh, yeah. I thought you had to lift it. So, as I was saying, I already took this one off, the blade off of this one, and then the four bolts. There's four bolts here and another four bolts over there. Yep. And then I'll just flip it over once I've done all this and then take it off from the other side and line it up. So, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but uh, once, once these get taped on with with the uh, grass and everything sometimes it's hard to see where your grease gazerk is so I went ahead and just threw some yellow paint on just the side that's got the grease dirt so it'd be easier to identify I don't know once it's full of grease maybe it won't make a difference I don't know but it kind of made sense to me at the, at the time so So I'm I'm a hoarder. You never know when you might need things. So where my other bolt go? The problem is she doesn't have any place to hoard stuff, so it ends up at my place. <laughs> no, it won't. So the new ones come with with new fancy bolts, but you know this happens, and y you need a bolt. So I will keep these old ones, just because why buy new ones when the old ones are just fine? They're just a little bit grungy. So, anyway, um, oh, but, uh, so the top bolt is a 15 16 and then the, the littler bolts to hold the spindles on is a half inch, if that helps, which it should, because it took me a minute to find the sizes, and of course then you're like, is that really the size, or is it just the grass that's taking on it that's making it feel looser, tighter, so... I don't know. I feel like we use leftover pieces of wood a lot. <laughs> well, we have a lot of them.
could just ask him to do it since he's standing right here and his thumbs are just fine. Yeah, this one's a little sore. I don't know why. Well, you know, it's, it's just that your hands get fatigued. They're so swollen even. Well, that's why. Oh, because I broke it for you. <laughs> uh, I finished it off. <laughs> oh. So hopefully that stays in it's, this and it's it is, good it is, anyway. It is. You, but but you, does it come with new bulbs? Yes, it does. Yes. So who cares? Exactly. All right. Thank you very much that was... for breaking the bolt off. <laughs> it made a quick job. Yeah. Didn't didn't have to back it out. Mm-hmm. So yes, it's a busy time of the year. We're all getting our firewood piles for next year and we are, oh, clearing out. Are we supposed to be doing that? Yeah. Oh man, I'm behind. Well, <laughs> you can always steal from my pile. Yeah. And clearing, which is actually why this spindle broke, because Mr. Handyish is going to take the first cutting off the hay property, and last year he commented that, boy, it'd be nice if it was a little hard to turn around. It'd be nice to just be able to drive through. So there was only like four little trees so that in the way. So I'm like, well, I'll just cut those down. And that way he'll be able to just drive on through. And I must have, uh, you know, the grass was about, I don't know, shin high. Not quite knee high yet when I did that. And... Instead of having to haul a whole tree, I just, you know, cut it up. Well, apparently I missed a chunk of log, because that's what I hit. It was, and it was a sapling. It was only like three, four inches, and of course I cut them 14, 16 inches. But that's all it took. I hit it, and I felt it right away, turned the mower deck off, got the log out of there, pulled out some vines and uh, thought it was okay. Turn it back on and I'm like rumbling. Turn it off, pull out some more vine. I could see everything looked okay, or so I thought. Turn it back on, I'm like, no, something's wrong. So I took it back to the house and took the mower deck off and I'm like, oh boy. And by then it, the damage was already done to the mower deck. So anyway. So now we're just going to flip this back over. And then for the housing, I think that's, I think that was like a 10. Yeah, 9 or a 10 if I remember right. So, Last week, I started mowing with the field because I have run out of gas before and I've got 16 acres and it's really a pain in the butt to have to walk all the way back up to the house and then lug, you know, three gallons of gas back to the mower. So this time I started with the field. So my front lawn never got done and the nice thing about letting it go is it's reseeding itself right now. So, there's the rainbow of the story. You know, usually I cut out all of my talking to myself and people still say I talk too much. But it's kind of therapeutic to just talk to yourself, but you feel like you're talking to an audience. I like it. Continue. Hmm. So I should feel like I'm talking to a psychotherapist or something right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I came back walking up and I'm like, it sounds like she's insane and just having a full-on conversation with herself. But. <laughs> And this would just pop right out, which it did. And honestly, um, I like to do a little maintenance while I'm at it. So I think I'll just take a wire brush and knock this loose. It's not going to be pretty, but you know what? I'm only going to do right here where it's sitting just to help stop the corrosion a little bit. And uh, you know what? If somebody likes it, then they don't need to look at the long one. Now, 
my belt, I think I replaced the belt early last season and I've got some cracks in this. So I actually did buy a replacement belt because I'm like, well, while I got everything off anyway, I'll just go ahead and, and do it because it never fails. It starts getting some cracks like this and and you no sooner put it back together and guess what? You, you throw a belt. So um, might as well just do it now and save myself the hassle of taking the, the deck off again and everything like that. So. like that was 14 millimeter for that. Oh, that's risky. That's risky with them flip flops. That's. I think this is the nozzle that's um, a little worse for wear, so it dumps it out mm -hmm. fast. That works. point you say that's good enough that's good enough <laughs> good enough pig good enough that'll, no, that, that'll, that'll do. do that'll do of course it'll have to oh man that nozzle is bad need a little bit of brake cleaner <laughs> just needs to, to spray a little bit it's getting better <laughs> that was the worst run ever. And yet somehow I'm tempted to hit it more. <laughs> when it's dry, it's dry. No, it'll be a few minutes. Is that black? Nope, it's 
yellow. I got black. Good grief. <laughs> it's what I had. I've got black. Crusted because of the crusties. You know what a guy would do that had better access to all of his tools and level ground? Mm -hmm. I'd bring the track around with a loader and just suspend it from that and you get to both sides easy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, that Mustang is fun to drive. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I was talking to myself in the truck today. Uh -huh. The truck is the the most comfortable. I have headroom. Yeah. It's, you know, the seats aren't bad. I ain't got a shift. It's, as an older guy that doesn't want to have to bend down, yeah. I can see why, you know, trucks are popular for a reason. Yeah. They're comfy and they're super capable. The only downside is gas. Mm hmm. I think this one bolt, the threads just aren't good. Oh, there it goes. You want to pass me the other one? Yeah. There you go. Is that kind of. <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, I'm assuming there's grease in there, but we all know what happens when you assume things. What? No, what, what happens when you assume? <laughs> Wasn't it? What was it? Was it your, uh... The trencher? The trencher that... <laughs> no, there's, I mean, there was like a film of grease. Yeah. Thank goodness that commenter was like, uh, you know there's no grease in there, right? I'm like... What? Who needs a workbench when you've got a truck bed? Uh, uh, handy. Now, the one thing I am worried about is whether or not the actual deck got bent when that happened. You know, just because of the force. I mean, the thing. I, mean, I got it. Pretty impressive. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. I hope so. I mean, that part of the deck's bent. <laughs> <laughs> Your skid plate. Yeah. So that little bird box that was on the ground over here, that's a little shorty. I stuck it in the ground. I'm beating on it, beating on it. All I hear, like, uh -oh. I'm like, oh, there's some wasps or bees or something in there. So I'm thinking to myself, well, I don't need to do anything. The birds will clear it out and have a snack at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the, the... Is it the purple martins that eat wasps? Oh, I'm blueberries? sure any of them could, could deal with it. Is that it? Yep. Other than putting the blaze. Now, did you want to? Well, you want to sharpen those while you got it off? Yes, absolutely. All right. Well, you know where where the stuff is. There, the uh, you look tired though. I am tired. I I just hand do it, but my hands. Do you want to? So. You want me to? Bzz, bzz? Yeah, if you don't mind. All right, let's go. Bzz, bzz. 
Grinder, grinder. Grinder. Yeah. And, and you do, you have the serrated effect. Feel that? <laughs> your your grass has got no chance. Is it done? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll accept just putting the covers back on, but I'm not going to do that until I put the belt back on. And yeah. I left the belt at home. So. Oh, you have the grease gun here. Let's let's grease them. Okay. They're not like crammed in. Is it taking it? Yeah, seven. Probably no grease. Nine, ten. There it goes. Well, you might have just been off. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. As you all know, I just put these spindles on and I was like, oh, let's go ahead and just see if there's any grease. <laughs> in the bearings and lo and behold they did not come pre-packed it so, saves weight it does save weight yeah sure so if you buy spindles off amazon never make, assume anything's yeah, greased coming out now. yeah oh, nice yeah underneath, yep. underneath there so uh grease Nimble like a forty year old cat. <laughs> twenty eight, twenty nine. I hear it popping. Yeah, I did hear it pop, yeah. <sighs> okay. Did you hear the suspension let out a sigh of relief <laughs> <laughs> when I jumped down? No, not, not hardly. All right. That's it. That's it. Now I just got to go home and put the new belt on and... And not steal my wire brush. Yay.
you know. Or my, my blower thingamajigger. Or your hammer. Hammer! Or my socket set. Pretty much everything I used here today. I'm glad you bought one of the grease things because you just put basically a whole I, I know. And don't forget, I've got a brake kit for you right there. Yes. Of course, yeah. you're probably going to be trading your car anyway now. <laughs> Why? Just a hunk of junk. Are you trying to flip it? Yeah. Look at how pretty that looks. Looks nice. Looks like somebody cares a little too much about their mower. Hey man, you know how expensive brand new mowers are? <laughs> I do. I just bought one. What, two, three years? Has it been three years already that I've had the husk barn? It's been a while. Yep. Mm. At a certain point, they start paying you back. I don't know what that point is, but I got to get close to the way I abuse mine. I know you abuse yours. The mower? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I just yours is a log. A, yours is a bush hog. Yes. <laughs> I, I pretty much mow about six acres, and I mow three acres every week because I, I row in strips. It's insane regardless. <laughs> yeah, but been a good mower. I really yeah. can't complain. Looks good. You want me to throw some black on the on the tops of these just to cover it? I mean, nah. I, I've got yellow. Nah, that, no. <laughs> it won't matter. It won't matter. They'll wear out the same. Rough, rough, rough. What is it? Good grief. All right. Be careful with the wind. You might not lose it, but you might lose those. Oh, yeah. Just, just put them down the whole thing over there. I'll just put them in here. They're not going to blow out of there. All right, sis. Thanks for All the beer. Right. Thanks for letting me uh, have dinner. Use my driveway. Yeah. Oh, here's some primer. Yeah. Wait, wait. We got to say, have, have a, a good, good one. one.